Hey legends, if you're watching this, I want you to do me a little favour right now. If you're watching it on the phone, lift the phone, go to the bathroom, or wherever you've got a mirror near hand, and take a look into that mirror, and tell me, what do you see? I already know who you're seeing guys, you're seeing the one person that you have to live with in this life. It is an important life skill to learn and I am 41 years old right now and I am still trying to get my head around it. Is not caring what people think about you. And you know, and saying that there, you know, you kind of need to care what people think of you sometimes depending on who they are, your family your close friends and whatnot, but you need to kind of draw that line somewhere where you're not going to take any abuse. And I don't know what you might be going through. There's always someone that is willing to say something nasty about you. you know, for example, I wear glasses. I can take abuse for that there. I'm slightly overweight. Uh, a couple of years back, I was massive compared to what I'm now. People used to make fun of my wit. Um, what else? There was a project we worked on a few years ago, and there was a professional difference between myself and a producer on it. And he felt the need to send me this big long email one day, you know, complaining about my shortcomings professionally, which there are plenty. Uh, Self awareness, that's another thing we'll be talking about soon. But not just that, he also felt the need to list, like, put a list into the email of my shortcomings, not just professionally, but also physically, you know, just, it was a real, real nasty piece of work, just going to town on my appearance, everything, you know, on camera style, the whole works, you know, it doesn't matter what sort of, you know, upgrades, new cameras and stuff you by, you know, it's still going to be you in front of the camera, you should quit and all this here. And, you know, it's, again, 41 years old, this stuff is hard to swallow, even now. Like, I am used to uh, taking abuse, having making videos for a lot of years. This channel is not my first channel online. I first started out making videos way back in, gosh, the first films, well, the first videos we made were... I actually had to be transferred from analog to digital. So like there was footage coming from 1999, 2000 back then. So you know, I've been putting stuff on the internet from roughly, like we were doing it quite a few years before we went to uh, start YouTube channels and all that sort of stuff. And uh, I think the first time we put something online was around about 2007 on the first ever YouTube channel we had. But that's another story for another time but uh, yes the person that you look at in the mirror every morning you get up you go to brush your teeth before you leave for school or work wherever you might be in your life at this present moment and you look in the mirror every morning and the thing that you need to remember is that, that person staring out of the camera camera that person staring back at you out of the mirror is the one person that you need to get comfortable with in life. The one person you have to live with. And, you know, when we get to the end of life's journey, that same person is going to be the person that you're going to have to make peace with at the end of the day, too. And, uh, yes, the sooner you can get, get, get comfortable in your own skin, the better. Now, again, I'm 41 years old, and I'm still trying to get comfortable in my own skin. And... You know, I can take criticism now better than I used to. It gets easier as it goes along. But you need to remember something that, you know, anybody that would say something negative or nasty about you are people that don't have to live with the consequences of what they're doing. And, you know, scars can be left on someone from 
maybe listening to years of that stuff and uh, some of those scars can be very very hard to get over and I completely understand that but you know the sooner you try and work towards you know dealing with this sort of stuff and doing what you have to do to uh, process it and whatnot uh, the sooner the better and some of the the best advice I can give you in that there is definitely you know look at your social circle and cut the negativity where you can now again this guy that sent me a big long email me and him no longer have any contact whatsoever I was just like you know a few months passed and everything kind of settled down a bit and then he kind of apologized for what he did and everything was grand and then you know a couple of weeks you know a couple of months or so later something else happened and then the email started again you know people some people are just nasty it's, an, it's a sad thing to say but you know a lot of people just don't realize the impact their words can have at times and you need to be careful of the people you let into your your social circle whether it be online or in real life you know you've got a negative friend that you've been trying to I'm not saying you need to try and change people all the time but if you've got one of these negative Nelly friends that just everything is a, a problem everything is a, a fight you know you need to kind of step back from that and I don't I'm not saying cut them off completely but you do need to distance yourself from that sort of thing those sort of things and uh, yes the, the sooner you start doing that there setting up those healthy boundaries the sooner you're going to be feeling better about yourself and uh, yes again that person in the mirror is the only person that you have to live with so get comfortable with that person make peace with whatever your flaws are everybody has them again glasses bad eyesight overweight teeth aren't the straightest a little bit discolored you know that's the kind of flaws that kind of jump out to people whenever they force me like this fat boy he's got glasses his teeth aren't great uh, but you know what it's I'm comfortable with that you know if somebody wants to make fun of me for my weight or me my glasses or whatever it may be age online is another big thing I get abuse for it's like you're too old to be making YouTube videos and I'm like yeah you're never too early to start you're never too late to start sorry English skills verbalizing my England is not good that is another weakness on my part which I'm very comfortable with you know I caught myself there and I'm sure I've probably made a few other grammar mistakes in this video but I caught that one and I was able to make a joke of it so uh, yes get comfortable with yourself believe in yourself and uh, don't take the criticism to heart to the point where it's going to hold you back from doing things